Hi friends, welcome to Testing Tutorials Point. This is Lokesh Gorantra and today we are going to discuss about mobile automation testing by using Python. Hi friends, welcome back. And today we are going to discuss about how to execute parallel execution or we can able to say multiple device execution. Okay. For this multiple execution, we need to open for Android and we can open for two emulators. Now I am opening for two emulators. Okay. In your case, you can use for real device also. There is no issue. Okay. For, first, we need to connect it for multiple devices. Any two emulators or any one of them. Okay. Anything you can able to choose. Not mandatory to connect with the real device as well. You can able to connect for any two. Okay. Emulator or real device. Anything. Okay. Now, I have two emulators now okay for this i need to find that name of this particular emulators how to find the name of this particular emulators and real devices here we can able to use for adb devices once you enter you can able to find how many emulators how many real devices you connected Th those all the details you can able to see the names here okay the name you need to store then go to here and go to config test okay and copy this entire code because we need to copy uh, we need to work similar to that okay i have already copy pasted here first one I we need to use for that is uh, which is the name we are, have right IPM devices for this I made for one okay before that I just created one fixes that is a parameterization device one and device two okay device one and device two why device one and device two means i have two emulators for the two emulator purpose i created for device one and device two okay then the scope is functional type okay function level i need to capture this entire information okay then in this particular request location appm device one and request and here if request param with the param device one i need to connect with this particular capture okay what exactly it will show you and up and here we can able to see right all the things and also the device location place we need to change for this one udid okay udid and the emulator one triple five four and we can remove this okay this udid where you can able to find in a command prompt in the command you can able to see this particular emulator okay and then we can able to use for ur okay after the url we need to uh, driver we need to make it as a global okay then we need to take this one and i'll uh, enter here and i can save it here okay the url i'm going to take and also i'm going to take for capture okay both the cases i'm going to take the similar format i'm going to copy the same devices and if another if condition location here also i want to connect first one localhost 4724 and i can able to use for another port number 4728 okay that is a, another port number there are two ports we need to run appm server okay then we need to use for yield fixes and we need to quit the driver okay this is a common okay up to here i guess you understood that okay the device place i'm going to change for udid one is 3554 another one is 3556 you can able to see in case if you get for any device for the real device connection okay that real device connection purpose we need to create for one more if condition okay 
and also we need to add for the device name once you've done this one just to copy this information now comes to here and you need to use it here just one and here one okay because we are going to capturing by using for this appm device one okay now everything same okay what are the code i written here everything same there is no change here okay <laughs> then just only here the uh, test demo location just i changed uh, to one because we are created for this multiple devices getting purpose right now i'm going to run okay before running i need to run for two ports okay and cmd app pm iphone p 4724 this is a one port okay now again i'm going to open for cmd okay again i'm going to run for another port that is iphone p 4728 okay two ports now now the port it is started port is 4724 is started okay same time it is uh, even uh, 4724 service also also started okay the two things okay <clears throat> now i'm going to run now i started running You can see in case if we are done perfectly the coding and structure and everything then it will execute for two devices device one and device two okay it will take for device one and then it will go there and it will execute for that particular port service and it will connect see now it is executing for one particular device one right and when it is clicked app and click for uh, dialogues and it is click for a particular box okay one is done and waiting for second device to connect now second device also it need to be connected 4728 okay now this particular device need to be start now second device also started you can see right second device like this we can able to connect with the multiple devices and multiple test cases we can able to run this is the easiest way okay that cancelled ld fixes is not calling something issue i'll check and i'll let you know that okay. this is also it will uh, click and it will close the driver but unexpectedly it is not able to click close but our two devices we are able to connect and also we are able to do the some work on that two particular devices okay like this we can able to connect for multiple devices and we can able to do it if you want to test for real device just how to do for real device connection and i show in the my previous videos go to there and just connect and then uh, run for uh, this particular uh, adb devices and find your device name take the device name and go to here udid uh, number is presented right udid uh, number and here you can replace your uh, this value okay in this value place you can able to keep it your real, real device and run one more time definitely it will work for you as well <clears throat> multiple emulators also it will work and multiple real device also it will work without any issue okay this is a way we can able to work for real uh, multiple devices thank you for watching subscribe and share to your friends and colleagues and don't forget to comment on this video thank you